Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time to talk hockey for 2015 and 16 as the Bearcat season opens this Friday and Saturday on the road, making the short trip to St. Louis University. We're joined by head hockey coach Gary Henson. And coach, last year, your first recruiting class goes through a young squad that plays much better than they did a season earlier. 8-14-4 overall, and there were eight one-goal games in there. A break or two here, a break or two there. The Bearcats... Uh, the score goes the other way, the season might turn out a little differently. Why don't you go ahead and recap last season for us? Yeah, last season was good. We, it was a learning experience for us. I think the guys need to understand how important um, responsibility is on the ice because one goal does make a difference, and it did make a difference eight times for us. Um, eight times we were on the, on the back end of that, and we don't want that to occur the, again this year. And I think with the talent we have, they, they are a year older. A year more experienced, a year better. They understand what I expect of them. They understand what they expect of themselves. And with the new talent we've brought in, uh, I think we're a lot deeper than we were last year. And so I think that's going to prove uh, to be a positive for us. And you just alluded to it, the fact that uh, a young squad, they got a lot of ice time last year, got to learn to play with one another as the season went on. A team that really comes into this year real well prepared. A team that returns its top six scorers from a year ago. Why don't you go ahead and talk about the offense a little bit for the Bearcats? Well, offense is going to be good. I like to run five-man units. And for example, our uh, one of our top lines um, is Billy Lamb's going to center Dylan Muth and Ryan Sizer. And on the back end of that will be uh, Steven Sandy and Brendan Witt. They will all, four of those guys are our top six scorers. So they'll be all on the ice at one time. That's going to be tough for a lot of teams to handle. We are deeper, so we have lines uh, behind them now um, with good offensive skill. So we're running three offensive scoring lines as opposed to just two last year. Defensively, the Bearcats, it took a while for that unit to gel, but once they got going, once your goaltender situation settled about midway through the season, that unit really started to come together at the end of the year. Why don't you go ahead and talk about the back line for the Bearcats? Yeah, Trevor Closerman was a young freshman goalie uh, from Highland High School, so um, it took some time to get him used to the speed of the game. Uh, he did an incredible job for us, and he's still a big part of this team. Uh, we brought in two new goaltenders, Jared Bradley and Andrew Best. They, um, they have experience at the higher levels of hockey. Andrew Best comes from a Junior A League in Toronto. Um, we're going to lean on all three of these goalies all year. On the back line, um, Josh Donovan has grown and matured from last year, understands the game on, on the way I expect it to be played. Um, he's going to be paired with Ty Watt. Ty Watt comes in from Barrie, Ontario, um, part of the Junior A League up there. Um, Ty's 22 years old, brings a lot of experience. Um, we're going to partner Ethan Griminger with Brent Feltis. They had two freshmen last year, sophomores this year, so we expect them to be better as well. You've touched on it, some of the newcomers coming into this program, uh, a lot of international flavor of several players north of the border. You've also added a player from overseas. How is that international influence going to help mesh with this Bearcat unit? Uh, you've got a lot of local players as well. Right. Talk about getting those two groups together on the same page. They gelled really quickly, and they gelled because they're hockey players. They instantly understand what it takes to win, and they instantly understand the game. Um, like I said earlier, we our depth is much better. Um, we have Lazar Lesteric from Serbia. We have we're going to put him on a line with Sasha Peran from um, Victoria, British Columbia. They gelled instantly, and they gelled because they have great experience in hockey. Um, Sasha played in the North Pacific Junior Hockey League and was the leading one of the leading scorers in that league. Lazar comes from Serbia and played on the U-20 Serbian national team at Worlds and was dominant. And he also spent last year training at Lake Placid, New York. So he brings not only the international flair, but he's used to being in the United States and in the United States style of hockey, which is a little bit, you know, the rinks are smaller, um, we're a little more physical, and he likes that kind of play. And uh, we're just thrilled to have both those guys. In your comments, you can hear the enthusiasm in your voice about the international players, about your returning players coming back. What are your general expectations for 2015-16? Our general expectations are minimum the MACHA Conference Championship and minimum a berth to the national championship. We want, we want to take this team 
and move forward because we're moving into a new complex next year, the McKendry Metro Recplex. We need to have a good product on the ice and we have a good product now and we want to fill that arena next year and this year obviously, but next year especially with that new arena, we want to put a good product on the ice and represent McKendry well in the classroom and on the ice. Lofty goals, you sound pretty confident about this squad. How have preseason practices gone so far? Awesome. They, the speed is is at least twice as fast as we were last year. The internet, almost a third of the starting lineup is international. And when I say international, I'm talking hockey international. Six of them, are, or five of them are from Canada. One of them's from Serbia. That, those are hockey hotbeds. And so they alone have picked up the speed of, and pushed our domestic guys to another level. You know, our local guys, Jacob Young, moving faster than he's ever. Uh, Jason Belkin moving faster than he's ever moved. Ethan Griminger, Brent Feltis, everybody. It just seems like they're a step faster because they have to be. If they're not, our system breaks down, and the international guys are quick. Well, Coach, hard to believe the season's here already. Cannot wait to see the Bearcats on the ice. That's this Friday and Saturday, September 18th and 19th, over at Webster Groves, and then the home opener a week from Friday, September 25th, against Indiana University. Coach, thanks for joining us, and good luck in this 2015-16 season. Thanks, Scott. Don't forget you can follow McKendry Hockey along with all of our other intercollegiate athletic programs on the web at www.mckbearcats.com.